Hey you guys, <clears throat> I just wanted to jump on real quick to give you guys a quick message. Um, so, wait for a couple of people to jump on. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. So, why I got on here to speak was because, hold on. If you see the title, good evening everyone. If you see the title, I feel abundant energy coming through and X is coming back. I wrote that for a reason because, um, uh, hey guys, love you guys. Thank you for all of the comments. I read them and I fucking love it because I'm laying there and I'm like, people take their time to write comments and that shit is like special to me. I don't care what anybody else thinks. For me, like people taking their time to write a comment, even like, um, how are you? Thank you. It's nice. We're going to close the pool now, but, um, it's a, it's a nice yard. Um, people um writing well wishes and comments i really appreciate that today was a rough day i acted like a baby at the mri place bitch i never cried like that in my life the guy was like are you okay and i was like no i don't want to be i think all of because when i was at the hospital too they put that neck brace on me i felt mad claustrophobic so it like brought back some kind of memories but spirit told me like you're rushing you're rushing Flo. you're rushing you're rushing just like when i i broke my i fractured my other ankle i rushed to walk on it and i'm hearing spirit saying take your time with something so you could be healing from something too was it good 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 um so you could be rushing with something and spirit's taking t saying take your time you don't need to rush through this whatever process you're going through right now whether it's healing from something um <clears throat> Yeah, I'm getting an open MRI. I, I just got it. I just got the um, I just got the approval. So um, insurance is the car insurance will pay for it. Thank God, right? And I'm getting all the help I need. The physical therapy, chiropractor. They cover up to like I think thirty thousand dollars. I'm not sure how it works, but I know uh, the lawyer said some shit like that. So anyway, um, I want to tell you guys. Spirit came through and was like, get on live and tell people, like, there's abundant energy. I am so claustrophobic. Maneri, who the fuck they make that MRI machine for, bitch? I'm big. I got in there. I was like, my titties were touching the top. I was like, no, no, get me out. He was like, are you okay? And plus, on top of that, I got a fractured rib, so when I breathe in, it hurts. Then laying down, my breasts are, like, laying on my ribs, so I'm, like, double panicking. I'm like, no, this is not going to work. And he was like, all right, you're going to need open MRI. I was like, yeah. He was like, you could take medicine. I was like, what kind of medicine? He was like, like a Xanax. I was like, nah. I'm going to feel like I'm dying for real, for real in there. Are you crazy? I even had the mask on and the, and the headphones. It was not. Because at the hospital, they put the neck brace on me. I couldn't breathe. <sighs> so I got a lot of healing to do with that. It's not a lot, but it'll, it'll happen quicker because I'm, I'm a quick. But I was driving and, you know, I got my daughter in the car and I'm driving. And the whole time, I'm going to get to the message. But the whole time I was crying when I was driving. I was trying not to let her see. And she's like, Mommy, are you okay? I was like, yeah, Mom, I don't think I'm ready to drive yet. She's like, that's okay, Mommy. You should just relax and rest, okay? You will. You'll hear from you'll hear, you'll hear from a job job. You will get it. You will get something. You will get something. I promise you. So, <clears throat> she's so sweet. Anyway, so the message that I was receiving was um, they were like jump on and tell people this because they want me to um, say what I was feeling earlier and it's like not to rush through this. So whatever. Thank you guys. I love you. Thank you. Send me a custom pillow. What? Yes. Girl, Her Majesty. Do you know that I was just saying the other day. Yesterday, today actually, my neck hurts. I need a, I need a real pillow. This pillow is not cutting it, bro. My neck starts hurting. It's crazy. Um, but <clears throat> thank you. I pray for nothing for good luck, but good health for everybody in here for real. I really do. I always do actually. I ask my angels to protect you guys, to send you love, to send you light. And so, so I'm gonna tell you guys something. Um, Spirit was telling me like you need to tell them that abundant energy is coming through. For some of you, I just feel like an ex coming back. You didn't have a good experience with this person is what I'm was what I'm hearing and this person is going to try to come back and like act like nothing happened type of energy. This is how I'm feeling it for some people. <clears throat> it's not for everybody, but I'm feeling this energy for some of you. This person is going to act like nothing happened. Like like we never I don't know fought. I'm hearing fist fought. <clears throat> I'm seeing somebody in a car arguing and I don't know this is dangerous please don't ever do this but I'm seeing two people arguing and like either you open the door while the car was still rolling or something like this I don't know that's what I'm seeing here somebody get into a real violent fight with their ex <clears throat> 
I'm hearing June and September. I keep hearing those dates. Um, the end of January. So February and January was just about to come out of my mouth at the same time. January. So, um... Spirit is saying, this person, look at everybody, fuck, fuck. So, yeah, listen, I'm telling you, spirits, spirits calling it out for a reason because they want you to be prepared not to go towards this person because I feel like for some of you, you're going to either be walking into a period of abundance. Now, we talk about abundance and everybody thinks, of course, automatically money, right? Yeah, that's great. It is, but abundance is also other forms, right? Abundant in health, abundant in spiritual um, intuition, abundant in, you're going to be abundant in some form or another. <clears throat> and it's funny because this person, is gonna come in right when this happens like the second you're like i'm hearing flying taking off i'm hearing up up to this guy <coughs> my ex came over today trying to get back with me that's what i'm trying to say stay i'm you personally for me especially during mars and retro with all these planets and retro i would really highly suggest do not get into new relationships and especially with somebody who was here's the thing it'll bring back those violent people those angry people those people that still haven't resolved that anger with you but they're gonna come back on some i'm hearing baby look i know we fucked up but i really think that we should be together it's like no listen love and light to you but like you gotta go that way <clears throat> for some of you this is past life energy this could very well be speaking of past life energy okay um, this is insane because I had some ex, wouldn't even call him that, text some crazy shit cussing at me, and I was literally blocking him as you went live. This is what I'm saying to you. Listen, I'm feeling this energy, okay? My ex tried to ask me for money for a few weeks back, and I cut that shit out way too quick. Listen, you I don't get on here and jump on here and talk about this shit for no reason, you guys. Spirit had me say it. I feel abundant energy, and ex is coming back. <coughs> oh, my chest. Ah, my rib, my rib. Okay. So, <laughs> let me just sit sit up like this. Look, 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 look. Hold on. Oh, oh you motherfucker. I'm sorry. I sound like an old ass lady, but look at this. Look, 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 look. Look at, look at here. Talking about exes coming back. Talking about exes coming back. Look at this motherfucker standing over here. Talking about, hey, baby, I miss you. And every time I'd be like, yo, approach me, motherfucker. It, he, he don't. I'm hearing he won't. It's like tapping my fucking hand in the middle of the night, lifting my arm just earlier when I was taking a nap. And I'm here, hello, hello. And I'm like, hello, what? Say something. You're like saying hello, but you know, it's hard to communicate. But when you're in the alpha beta state, and I was doing the Joe Silva method earlier and i kept getting into the alpha state and that's when you're like ready to fall asleep you know that bu buzz moment before you fall asleep and then waking up um spirit is uh <coughs> alive and well right now <coughs> i do feel like somebody's trying to contact you this could be you know for some of you this could be an actual ex but for some of you this is spirit trying to contact you and that's only for some of you okay and and that 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 thing being in the sky right there i don't know if you could see but like it looks really close like you see how it is right there it's right there you could see it it's right there it's like really really close but like this camera if i had a real camera i could get it up close and personal literally been trying to fucking manifest that camera i'll be playing this game where you like um put coins towards a, a very professional camera i might even do a live one day and just raise money for a camera you know what i'm saying because they're like the one i want ah, the one i want is like eight hundred dollars and you know what we ain't broke but we ain't trying to spend eight hundred dollars on a camera right now but but i need to because the i need to catch the aliens <laughs> you know it's slowly creeping like it's like slowly moving you guys you don't understand it's slowly moving and it does that and it like pretends it's like a star and i'm like do people actually think this thing is a star like the sky is clear and there's one fucking light and it's just staying up there and you know not to mention that there's a fucking army camp right across the street from me but i feel abundant energy for you guys thank you thank you thank you wisdom love you guys um thank you yes i enjoyed my dinner it was delicious um listen here's what i'm gonna say i'm gonna say this because i haven't been able to cook for myself for a little bit and my mom cooks sometimes but she's not really she waits for us to cook it's just me and my stepfather but um um she's spoiled my mom is spoiled she's like i can't believe i gotta go to the store and shit ever since i got hurt i'm like bitch maybe spirits like go to the store get your fat ass up you know i'll be telling her I'll be like get your big ass up she's like don't call me that and i'm like well we're both big and because we sit around a lot but um you know we like to eat and we're spoiled you know we fucking anyway um so that abundant energy that i feel coming in and i know like the message is all over the place but it's for a reason literally i was in my bed earlier and somebody kept picking up i'm feeling all right thank you 
just working on this healing, man. And I didn't realize that I was mentally a little bit traumatized. But I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be all right. This isn't the first trauma I've healed myself from. I've been through multiple traumas in this lifetime and other lifetimes. And guess what? Let me tell you something. Some of you are going to have a past life show themselves to you. I just had the, I just had, you know, when I was at the MRI and I was, I was realizing why I felt so suffocated. Um, I had a dream that I was on a slave ship and I was one of the slaves and they had us like, you know, the way they have chickens racked up like on top of each other. Um, one of the things about me, I do like to eat meat, but I, I don't like seeing how animals are abused in the process so i kind of try to buy meat where at least the animal had a good life and they're being put to use anyway someone killed them already so i might as well but the ones that they like beat over the head and all that i'm not with that because i was i was somebody on a slave ship in the past and and i was on racks like we were on top of racks and in the dream i jumped up and i was like, i can't be here and i ran out and everybody looked at me like what the fuck and they didn't like i was visiting my past life and i i was being we were stuffed like oh my god like like fucking like like um artichokes or what are they called not artichokes um you know those fish so whatever the fuck they called um so uh now i need to know the name unmute yourself why you can't hear me you can't hear me anchovies thank you artichokes this one thank you anchovies i knew it was an a so i'm just saying this i'm seeing abundant energy coming in an ex trying to come back to talk to you something about leo leonard or leo leard leonard or leo something with a leo uh something about a scorpio and an aries i'm hearing taurus and gemini i'm hearing these signs uh, i'm also hearing capricorn strongly uh aquarius is coming through as well um this person is trying to contact you it's uh like i said for some of you it's spiritual okay okay cool part pack sardines thank you violetta that's what it was like in a dream i was a pack sardine in a slave ship and this is why i'm very empathetic towards many many people cultures animals because i've been all of these things and so i could place myself in that in that torture that we went through and experienced together that's why when i went in that mri i literally freaked out and cried like a baby and jumped out like i was like get me the fuck out just like in the dream it was weird it was so similar and um spirit told me like you know this is a past life trauma coming back to haunt you but it's okay you'll be all right you'll be all right um so um um i'm i'm seeing somebody with a <clears throat> i'm hearing dark car i don't know i'm hearing a dark a dark car somebody with a dark car with um with what the fuck? I'm hearing Aries hair. I don't know. I'm hearing Aries hair. Uh, somebody has a lot of children. <clears throat> they're um. They're li they're. I'm hearing they're literally going to hit you up right when you're <clears throat> ready to just. You're moving on, and this person is gonna come in right when you're something abundant i'm telling you somebody's gonna win something or some kind of like i'm hearing i'm hearing winning i'm i'm hearing i'm hearing something you lost you will find i'm hearing two different months something about a scope or art uh, i don't know art scope arts this person some, huh this person could be an artist for some of you or draws or something paints i don't know just yeah spirit's not gonna allow this person in your life though they're going to i'm hearing whip them with the spirit stick and you know um i'm hearing this also if there's someone that you're gonna want to hang out with spirit is gonna like distract their route i'm hearing gps rerouting rerouting um spirit rerouting gps for you don't worry like they're gonna reroute this motherfucker's whole navigation system because he's gonna i remember because they're showing me one time when i was gonna hang out with this fucking like bum you know this is like years ago two years ago and they were like what are you doing like and he lost his way for two hours he was calling me i can't find you i can't find and two hours later he was so frustrated he turned around and went home and so the spirit's showing me like don't think we can't do that because we can and so like i said like for some of you you're being um 
guided towards the stars, different dimensions. Some of you are having past life dreams here and it's very, very difficult. I'm here very tragic for some of you. Um, let me just go on with the channeling because I know sometimes it don't make sense, but but it's going to make sense to somebody, right? Some of you guys are having a dream. I'm, I'm having it. I'm. I see you having a dream and you're in a tunnel. There's waves or wave you're you're seeing waves in the dream and there's a tunnel. It might look like you're in a either sub submarine or underwater spaceship. I'm hearing Atlantis, Lemuria. Damascus, I'm hearing Damascus. I'm hearing Eggert, Eggert, E G G E R T. I'm hearing liberta, liberta. I'm hearing all of these strange like um, words and all this stuff. Um, hey, 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 Rex. Um, yeah, I know. Kajina, it's funny, right? KJ Aneta, KG Aneta, KJ I never know how to read people's screen names. I'm always like, okay, but no, I'm just going to say that some, okay, your star family is going to be, I'm hearing knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Some of you might get a visitation, but like I'm hearing in your third eye. So, but listen to me. Are you? Is anybody here hearing a voice? I'm hearing. Are you hearing a voice at night? Is someone speaking to you at night? Literally. You see? You see where he was before, right? Just going to show you. You saw where it was before. The, um, hold on. Okay, what are we doing now? Okay, you guys can hear me now? Okay, now. Okay, good. There we go. So I got to say something, man. This is what's crazy. Okay. This is what's crazy right now. Like it's, it is so, the vibes right now, if you guys cannot, what is, bro, I'm, I'm feeling things, seeing, yo, listen to me. I don't know about you guys, but is somebody hearing voices at night? Demons are taking over. It's not demons. It's uh, it's aliens. <laughs> it's aliens. <laughs> you know, when you think about it, when you think about the way people describe demons and then you look at the pictures of aliens, how do you see them? They have like these weird looking odd shaped faces, right? Um, like almost like a teardrop, uh, a teardrop upside down, right? And then they have these big googly eyes and they're all known to have three fingers, right? So when you think about it, you know, are demons demons or are they aliens? Are they are, are aliens demons or are what? You know what I'm saying? Because I know we have a star family in the skies because they visit me all the time. They always come in my dreams. You know, I know you're joking. I know I have voice in my dreams lately. Yeah, because this is what Spirit is saying. There's there's somebody trying to communicate with you. Um, I'm hearing Larry. Larry. Aunt, Aunt, either Aunt Donna or Dina. I'm hearing an Aunt, Aunt Diana, Dina, or Donna. Or it could be all three, honestly. Um, thank you for the badge, Professor Crime. Love you. You're the best. And be good to your girlfriend. She's pretty. She cute, cute. Um, something about a Scorpio, I'm hearing long-term relationship. I'm hearing some of you guys, um, if you're feeling lonely, don't because, um, 
I'm hearing Mars and Gemini will come find you. What the fuck? That's so weird. Aunt Donna alive? I don't know. Just I'm just hearing that. It does. Um, give me one second. I'll wait. Let me just hop my ass over to my room. Hi there. Hi there. Yeah. Nobody tell me my boobs are in the video. Miami. Miami. Hi. Hi. Hiya, Bobby. Mom. What you doing, the boobin? Um, I just ate your pasta. Hey, uh, you feel so good. It was good. Give me a kiss. And, and, and the pepper you put on it, it, it really helped. It made it spicy. Mmm. Okay, I love you. I'll be, I'll be with you in oh, time. Girl, I just ate turkey bacon. Turkey schmaking faking. <sighs> turkey faking? No, I ate real turkey bacon. Okay, so you need a crutch. I know I need a crutch, but um, kind of don't want to baby my foot because for some reason I'm the type of person. If I baby my shit for too long, then it just gets used to being a baby. So I'm like, bitch, you won't walk when I tell you to walk. <laughs> Eat the cake, Adam Eat the cake. Um, Yes, how you outside? No coat. I'm in Boston. It's chilly. Listen, girl, I'm I'm a big girl. <laughs> that that cold feels like a blanket for me right now. <laughs> turkey bacon. I like turkey bacon. Some, some of you are, uh, I'm hearing, vibrating very high right now. I don't think you understand what I'm telling you. This message is for you because... You know what? Let me get the cards. Hold on. I'm going to get the cards. I'm going to get the cards real quick. Give me a sec. Let's get some cards out on this one. Let's, let's, let's ask the spirit guide cards. Let me see. Let me get these cards real quick. I just bought these. I just bought this, um, this turmeric soap. I'm going to see what that's about. I started using it today. Let's see what's up with it. Let me get the cards right quick. And see what's pop a lopping. One second. What's pop a lopping, crack a lacking, schmack a dacking? Let's see what's up. Because I was feeling like I want to give specific messages about something, but. <clears throat> Did you ever notice that most, like, the prettiest girls be having the deepest voices? <laughs> you ever notice that shit? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I feel it in my eyes right now, my whole body vibrating. That's what I'm saying. That's what I feel like people, people, you don't understand people. I'm hearing, you don't understand. You are, you are totally ascending here on another level than you could even like understand right now, but you will. And, and I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying, I'm hearing, you'll know that I'm talking to you because, um, um, you are getting like, um, some of you are, don't even like recognize exactly that you're ascending because you're feeling something, but you don't know like what the feeling is yet. But I'll I'll explain to you what spirit is showing me. They're showing me like somebody who's receiving a massive amount of information at once. You are you're being guided here though. If you're worried or scared, ooh, I'm telling you, they're hitting me in the head here. I just got hit in the head by spirit, which means they're telling me like you need to tell them that this is this is a download. So you're receiving a massive amount of information more than you know and more than you you're like oh my god massive downloads crown chakra activation you guys <sighs> crown chakra activation you're activating heavy activation in the crown chakra you guys so yes it does feel um the, and i'm hearing this is all taking place so that you can release it whatever is taking place whatever you got going on you're wondering why what is this what the fuck is actually going on what even is this you know type of thing type of energy but um spirit, spirit. Hold on. let me just um let me get these cards give me a second okay. oh god okay so spirit wants you to understand something that you're experiencing this type of evolution for your, your highest holy shit no not that happening no you guys no the fuck that didn't happen guess what guess what picture just fell on my hand i said you're experiencing some kind of evolution and this this drawing i did just fell out of my hand okay just fell off the wall while i was saying that so yeah take that as a sign <laughs> take that as a sign you're experiencing oh 
your experience. Oh, my <laughs> go. What? I can't even put it back up. That's crazy. Um, you're experiencing some evolution. She wants to say something. I hear I heard. She wants to say something. Oh shit, I'm hearing that was me talking. In the Aries reading. Cause I'm hearing that. I'm hearing that. I'm hearing that talking again. That's your um I'm hearing your um your Woo, we got a lot of information coming through you guys. Um your Navajo ancestors. The, your tribe, your tribe is coming through for you now. Spirit said, let them know, just like for you, because for me, my spirit tribe has been coming through big time. Um, they're, they've been on double overtime protection, I'm hearing. Um, there's a lot of activity happening for you. So spirit wants to prepare you for this kind of... Um, you know, um, when something's happening, you don't know, like, I just got some new cards. I can't wait to do readings with them. They're coming in on Sunday. I'll do a reading with them when I get them. They're so beautiful. One of them is all about crystals, which, you know, I work with crystals heavily. So, and the other one is like, I think it's like love messages, but I just like the look of the cards and they were, so, the messages were cute on them. So I got it. I can't wait to do it Sunday because I, I'm going to do a love reading for us because spirit keeps telling me that although you want to wait i'm hearing for love although you want to wait i know you want to wait i'm hearing but um we have a surprise for you i'm here surprise surprise i really feel like a bunch of people are waiting for you at the door and they're gonna um this is like a surprise party i'm seeing so I'm like, yes baby yeah um, what are you doing i'm doing a lot babe can i help you can i get a <clears throat> thank you for choking me you're welcome violence Okay, je t'adore. Love you. This bitch is strong, bro. She's just chokehold in me. <laughs> She's about to give me the Death Star chokehold. <laughs> I love you. Oh, hey. Okay, I love you too. I love you too. And I'll be like, she'll be like, I love you. And I'll be like, I won't say no. She'll come back in the room. I said, I love you. I'm like, oh my God, her boyfriend. I feel bad for him. I feel bad. I feel sorry for her husband. I'm a sun in Virgo. I'm a moon in Aquarius. A rising in, um, in Libra. Okay. So yeah, I, cause I do feel like some, somebody needs this message here. It's like, I'm hearing, I'm hearing Sir, Sir Capilot. I don't know. I heard Lancelot, but Capilot. It's funny. There's something about a Taurus here. I'm hearing a Taurus. Again, I'm hearing Scorpio, you guys. So either either you're going to be interacting with... Uh, so, oh, some of you are going to meet the... Oh, you saw that card? So, oh, a new life, guys. I'm telling you here. I'm telling you this is not a joke. If you're in this and you're here with us, Spirit's got you. There's a lot. A lot of... I'm hearing a lot of information. I'm hearing information. Whoa, you guys. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. You're not expecting this. Whatever this is, it's like, I'm not, I, like, I'm expecting it. It's I feel it, you know. Okay, so Spirit's saying, you know, you've been feeling this. Um, So, so uh, raise your hand if you've been feeling like there's a change happening for you. Like, you know, you can sense it. Like, one of the things I said, I just ordered, like, this, like, all-natural vape from this company. I'll let you guys know how it is. It's made only with, like, natural oils. Absolutely no chemicals, no nicotine, and it's supposed to be helping people quitting smoking a lot. And it's like, it's she said, the girls, they were all talk. I was watching some girl do a video of it. She was like, I really could breathe with it. And she, you know, it's all natural oils, like things that are good for you, for your throat and your body, whatever. Obviously, it's not good forever, but to quit, I'm going to use it. Um, Have you been feeling like there's a change coming for you? Because this is where, yeah, but I'm not doing a vape with like, it's, and I know for a fact there's someone on the way. For a fact, for a fact, I'm hearing networking. You guys, a new life and a change in the wind. You know, I feel like this is what Spirit's showing me. Like, don't get it twisted. They they think they have a good life. Like, they're, they're, they they see their lives, lives as good, I'm hearing. The life is good. It's beautiful. However, one thing that's missing i'm gonna say that spirit is like big made, made a big big sign for me um create creative um prospects i'm hearing <sighs> this is like the creative person that uh people don't pay attention to because they're too blind you know what i'm saying to you i'm 
I'm hearing charging a fee. Um, I heard let them come to you. Somebody's ex sees sees um, videos and photos of their new boo and they're jealous. So, I mean, I just got to say it because this person's going to try to come back in and try to stop what you got going on right now. My parents going to be like, oh, like, how you doing, babe? Like, because they saw you on, like, an, I'm here in a video with somebody or they're... <clears throat> um, Here on the letter D. What's coming in for our viewers, Spirit? Can you give us some messages? We love you. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Okay. Is my is my deck backwards again? Okay. Is it? Yeah. All right. Let's do that again, please. Thank you. What's coming in for our viewers? For anybody who has a particular message. Somebody's approaching you. I'm telling you. This person could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I'm telling you, somebody's approaching you. You, you got, you're not, okay. All right, all right, all right. Opportunity, some kind of opportunity is going to knock at your door. This one, I'm hearing, jump at, jump, don't. You're going to make it this, I'm guys, I'm feeling something here, and this is not even a fucking joke. Like, some of you, I'm hearing three to six months for some of you. For some of you, I'm hearing three days. Nine days, 19 days, I'm hearing that. There's different dates coming in. Oh, I'm I'm just gonna say to you like this is look, some of you are gonna be really here like um okay all right whoa that's crazy whoever this person is look look how that that's that tower tower X is calling now block um that tower I'm hearing that so strongly that tower next to the king of um wands there it was like sitting right here and then the tower landed literally and it pointed at the king of wands it was like right that way so that means that this person who's coming towards you they're not here for a good reason for some of you this this is uh, i'm hearing create creating creating destruction for some of you real they're, they're not you know that this uh it's like i'm feeling so many different energies so i just gotta give a message as like, as like some of you if you're manifesting something with new work financial new whoop, that, that flew new work new finances if you were manifesting something with that with the wheel of <laughs> i just smell something burning like i smell burnt something burnt just i just smelled it it came right to me it's either i don't know so i'm here i see fire in the rain i'm here and this person drives a truck I'm hearing Toyota Avalon for some reason. They could be immature. Yeah, mm -hmm, with the page here. The, I can't, listen, for this opportunity that's come along, you're going to have to make a decision. One of the, I'm hearing one of the opportunities you already know is not for your highest good, but another one that comes in, you're going to have to make a decision fast on your toes, I'm hearing. Um, and I'm hearing, don't forget this moment and be grateful already because some of you got a big moment coming in. Listen, whatever happens, please <clears throat> let me know because I see somebody, something big happening for somebody here. I mean, I already know I could feel it coming in for me. I always feel it when Spirit is preparing me for the next um, blessing that's coming in. I'm always very grateful before it happens. But for some of you, this, oh, you're going to, your worries are going to be taken away. Listen, man, I'm telling you, if you're tuning into this, you're watching this reading, it's for a reason. Spirit really wanted to get this message out to you. I'm hearing uncle, uncle. Oh, some of you, I feel like, I feel like in, in the next year, some of you, you're going to get married. I just have to say it that way. You're going to get married. I'm here, oh baby, I think I want to marry you, whoever's coming in next for you. Uh, you were single for a while, you're not going to be single for that much longer, is what I'm hearing spirits saying. Whether you're expecting or not, you're not even thinking about it. Some of you are focused, I'm hearing, focused on their career big time, I know. I know what they're saying, I know exactly what they're saying, okay? Um, it's, <clears throat> yeah, thank you, Maneri. <laughs> um, some of you are focused on a big 
You're going to move away from something or this is going to cause movement. Look, if you're tuned into this reading, why do you need me to say your sign? I'm, I'm saying random signs, letters, dates. You know, it, you can't, like, we, we got to take the messages as they are because spirit likes to come through for a lot of people at once. And, you know, I'm going to tell you something. I'm hearing them say, don't worry, we teamed up to tell you this message. It's not like I'm giving a message to one person. There's a team of souls here and they're connecting and communicating with me via the universal mind, the mind that is good, that I'm connected to at all times, which you are too, is also telepathically communicating at each moment. And we are connected deeply and here divinely to the source, the source that is good, to where your mind attracts and my mind attracts good and it attracts blessings and things. And people that fucking talk to me, let me tell you something, people that talk to me or, or they get a reading from me or they speak to me as a friend and I tell them something, Mark my fucking words. Something good happens to them. It could be something small and spirits giving them the, see, I told you something big was going to happen. And then boom, they'll be like, Flo, you said this. And it's not because I said it. It's because if spirit led you to me, it's because they wanted you to have that hope and that faith for the future because something good is going to happen to you. Okay? When you say it like that, it's just so fucking cool. I'm telling you, spirit wants you to know something is coming towards you and they'll show you like a glimmer of hope you know what i'm saying like you'll have nothing coming on and then something small will happen you know um and you'll be like well this is not like what i was expecting but it's like cool because spirit's like telling me like let them know we're gonna send them um i'm hearing minuscule signs but turning into big rewards so these signs will be small you will not ex you will think they're just like some tiny little sign and it's like nothing right but mm -mm, baby you know with the chariot you're moving forward here with something you oh my god are you for some of you are signing a contract with someone i'm just gonna tell you if somebody needs to hear this, I know it seems like a long time, but what I'm saying to you is not that three years from now this will happen. What I'm saying is with these next three years of your life, I'm hearing are going to be the most phenomenal times of your life. But I'm hearing when spirit brings you the opportunity, you have to take the action because there's something if you feel I'm hearing if you feel the call to change. I'm hearing addresses. If you feel that call and you really feel it within your spirit. <clears throat> I'm telling you, if some of you are feeling like this person could be the love of your life, they could be it, they could be everything. Like, you might have, some of you are going to have two different people to choose from. I just got to say, two different people to choose from. Okay, one is, I'm seeing water sign and then earth sign. The water sign is sitting, uh, earth signs are sitting up confident. You have manifested something big here. Do you know that you manifested something big? That I said, I said... I said, I said, I said, meditation, get into that meditation. Yo, listen to me, guys. Listen to this. The Joe Silva Method on YouTube. The audio book is on there. I did it today. I was listening. I wrote some stuff down. And one of the things that I kept, that I heard him say um, that I loved was um, when he said, "You're here. okay, I'm going to give you a tip. I'm going to give you guys a tool for manifesting. <clears throat> yeah, you need me to mind more. I'm gonna give you a tip for manifesting, and and it's it's this is amazing. <clears throat> One of the Buddhists that I listened to, he said, when you're meditating, if you have a lot of thoughts running through your head, he said, people ask me all the time, why so many thoughts run through my head? Why can't I stop them? He said, take a look at your life. Who do you have in your life? What are you doing every day? Who are you hanging around? What kind of gossip are they doing? What kind of drama are they bringing to you? When you're meditating, don't forget your brain is going to run through what you went through, through the day, through the week. It's going to it's going to tap into everybody else's thoughts and emotions that you've been dealing with for the past week or two. And so the the less I'm hearing, the less clutter you have, the less clutter in the brain. So when you're meditating, of course, like I can meditate right now and the thoughts that I have coming up are very random and, and whatever, but I push them to the side. And one of the things Joe Silva method says, listen to the audio book. I'm telling you, it changes my, it changed my day today and I'm going to keep using it. And I wrote some stuff down on the left side, the things I don't like about myself that are negative. And on the right side, the positive things I'm going to do to change it and that are coming my way because, oh, I don't like this about me. This is what is happening and this is how it's going to change. And um, he said, your brain is like a computer. And I know this is simple, but it's so fucking smart. Spirit said when you're meditating or you're manifesting something and you're meditating and or you're just going throughout your day, your, your brain is like a computer. 
boop, 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 boop. It's constantly loading information, right? Beep, 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 program, program, program. So um, when your brain does this like talking shit about yourself or says something bad, he goes, you know the button, control, alt, delete. Thank you for the badges. I appreciate you. You know the button, control, alt, delete on your computer? It's saying do that with your with your thoughts. So if you're, he goes, just delete it, delete, 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 back it up, back it up. You know when you space, when you go back space, you write a word, right? I was looking at that on today, blah, 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 blah. and then you write a word you don't like, go backspace, 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 and delete. Thank you, Puma. Thank you, Kelsey, for the badges. I appreciate you guys. Go backspace, 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 backspace. Spirit saying, just delete it, and it's gone. It's gone from your consciousness. You control that shit. That's what we need to understand. You just saw 411, that's a good one, okay? So, you know, that's also information, the code for information. So some information could be coming in. Spirit is saying, like, this is your opportunity to control that shit. The second you get a negative thought, just control, alt, delete. No, I didn't mean to say that. No, no, push that back, push that back. Like, oh, God, I hate the way I do this. I'm never going to be that. I'll never be able to create that song or do that video or be with this person. Or I'm not good enough for that. I'm not I'm not pretty or cute enough for that. Mm, you're lying because you're, you're telling yourself that because that's your brain's way of, of keeping you humble. You hear that? You hear that? When you say things like, I'm not good enough and stuff like that, that's kind of your brain's way of keeping you humble. But also remember that being humble doesn't mean that you have to shit on yourself, right? And being humble doesn't mean that you have to walk around being broke. You can have wealth and you can have anything you want. It doesn't mean that you have to keep yourself <clears throat> broke because you're remaining humble. Um, person with wealth and humble and humble, humble ability is even much better, right? Um, for some of you, if your heart got broken by the, by a Scorpio, I'm hearing an Aries, uh, again, uh, a Libra, Aquarius, I'm hearing. Uh, or if not, heartbroken, but like you've disappointed in them. Um, I'm seeing like a man, a man coming through for you. Like he's, he. I'm like, here I come to save the day. I'm seeing Mighty Mouse for some reason. This person might be short and they might like not be your type spe specifically but but they will be i'm hearing in the wallet <laughs> they might be like they might not be your type specifically uh spirit saying like don't um don't just push this away because uh, it's not your type i'm hearing that very strongly okay somebody needs to hear that okay i hope it's okay that i asked this full but lately i've just been feeling suffocated almost like i just can't breathe everything seems to be caving in on me and i don't know how to handle it okay Listen, listen, Cal Calise, Calise. <clears throat> you see me, and I, I, I am always doing lives and stuff like that. What you don't understand is behind the scenes. I, I, sh I was these past four months, five months. I was struggling big time. I had like moments where I was like, <sighs> like I got in the car, I screamed, cried, kicked like a little baby, ah, complaining, right? And I truly believe that um, if we if we don't see the blessings and things and the experiences that I've had lately, and I want to cry for you because I feel your pain, and I feel your pain, and I'm so sorry you're going through that. And this is for anybody. Spirit is saying, I, teach them what you've just learned, the lesson that I learned going through what I went through. I wasn't being grateful. I was just like acting like a big fucking spoiled little baby, and. Not that spirit was saying I was acting like a spoiled baby. I wasn't making the necessary changes. I just kept repeating the same things over and over again. And then I was like mad that things weren't working out for me. And I was suffocating. I couldn't breathe. I felt like my face was under a pillow and someone was choking me at night. So spirit is saying here, spirit is saying here, you are literally going through the biggest transformation of your life and if it's too hard to handle, tell your spirit guides, I can't handle it. Can you please slow this down? They're constantly working with you. And one of the things they want you to know is they're saying, hey, remember that you, you asked us to give you this. So if you feel I'm hearing too overwhelmed, just ask us to slow it down. And they will. Sometimes we want to learn lessons quicker. And those of us who want to ascend, we, we want to, we, like for me, I'll always be like, just give it to me all at once. And they sure as hell did these past five months. I went through it. These past five months were torture for me. But one of the things I did not do was give up, right? I got up 
in the morning. I did what I needed to do. I still worked. I still tried to like, you know, I gave messages. I made videos. Like I kept myself busy and entertained because for those of you over here, which I'm hearing this very strongly, many of you have a tendency to go into deep depression. You, What you don't want to do is allow yourself to get in the method of depression. You know what I'm talking about. A lot of you in here can go deeply into depression if you do not check that shit instantaneously. So spirit is saying, before I get you, get it. You understand what I'm saying to you? So you feel like you can't do no more, you can't do no more. You need to not let yourself go one, two, three days without getting out of bed, feeling uncomfortable. <clears throat> it is all happening at once. I know, it happened to me. All at once. But I'm happy, you know why? Because that was just Spirit's way of saying, we just want to get this out the way. You asked, this is what you wanted to do. We're going to help you get this shit out the way so that this next stage, you don't got to worry about all that. Exactly, Rex, you're not the only one, babe. I went through five years of my life where I was super depressed and tried to kill myself several times. This is just real talk, right? So why I'm telling you this is because if I've been through it, me, the person who really does not give a fuck, I live, I'll be like, fuck that motherfucker. I'll rob a bank. I'll kill myself i really don't care but i've realized something none of that is gonna work out because i got a child who loves me my family loves me you got people who love you whether you want to believe that or not and you want to be like nobody cares about me that's what depression does it tells you nobody cares about you nobody's gonna miss you anyway you know i love you too we're all healing each other here you know remember that you're gonna you depression and these these this anxiety that you're gonna get <clears throat> no 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 anna 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 it's only getting better and better for you. Don't ever, ever tell the universe. If there was a force, a dark force that was pushing negative energy onto you and making you feel like shit, don't let that motherfucker get it by you saying things like, it's only getting, it works for me, it's, it's getting so bad. Have your moment, scream it out, fuck this, sucks, ah, right? But then turn around and be like, all right, I know this is for my highest good. It's only going to get better and better from here. Every day it gets better. It seems really bad right now in this moment. Everything's hell, torture. You know, you've been through breakups. You've been through situations where you've lost something. In those first month or whatever, you're horrified. And then you look back at it a year or two later and you're like, why did I cry like that? Why was I going through all that? You understand? Do you understand me? Remember, just look back. When you get into these depressive states, which we all go through, remember to look back two, three years ago, the shit you went through then and how you're okay right now. You're here right now. Right? Never make decisions when you're angry, horny, tired, or hungry. Okay? Those are So depression has all of those at once. Right? <clears throat> yes, it is a lot of love in here. And the love that is, is happening right now is because people in here are struggling with the same things. Some of us will smile and walk through the day and act like we're fine, but deep down inside, we're dying inside, right? But this is the thing. You're only dying so you could live again. You're, you're dying so you could live again. Let me say that again for you. Spirit wants you to know you are dropping dead in all the places of yourself that no longer belong with you. And the next part of your life is going to be nothing but living. Yeah. <laughs> Porcelain. <laughs> yeah, she be telling me she have to... But I'm telling you right now. Um, listen to me. Listen, guys. I'm going to tell you right now. In order to... Again, I've, I've said this before in a video. In order to break through, you have to break down first. I swear I was in hell two years ago. I had to learn how to smile when I was crying. You see what I'm saying? This is... We all went through that. We, I went through hell too. We like literal hell. You guys know we went through hell. Do you want? Can I tell you something? You cannot. It's impossible, impossible to be the light or to find the light if you have not shed or been through the darkness. It's impossible. The darker, the better, my friends. You could tell a person you merely adopted the dark. I was born of it. You know what I'm saying? You come from the darkness, you come from the nothingness, and you brought yourself into something. You know, God said, let there be light. The I am, the creator, the source said, let there be light, and then created himself into a form, right? Created humanity to, to be like, like him, like God. 
You came from nothing, and you, you know, <laughs> and now you're something. You created your own. You were a formless being who became a formless physical being. And when you became this form formed physical being, it wasn't easy because you are a spiritual being, and you're so free spiritually. Your soul roams the galaxies and the dimensions, and is is capable of anything. And then you come here onto this earth. You know, you gotta learn lessons, limitations, and then you gotta learn about love. And you gotta, you gotta, your body's like on, it's stuck here. Meanwhile, when you're a spiritual being, you're just this powerful, free, explorative, spiritual, natural, heavenly being. Then you come here, and of course you're gonna feel depressed. This is not where you belong. This isn't your home. This is just the place you came to work on some shit in your soul. Right? I love you guys too, man. This is just a place you came to learn, you guys. This is not your home. You don't belong here, which is why you feel depressed. If you feel depressed, you feel angry. I went through something today and tried to get my head again, reminding me about my past depression. I was like, nope. I started meditating and boom, you went live. Look, Flo's eyes lighting up when she talks from experience of healing. Look, Chiron, you're all Chiron, the wounded healer. My eyes light up and they get teary because I tell spirit all the time. Do you think I'm playing with you when I say I'm going to do this? I'm going to heal people? I'm going to do it. <laughs> exactly. You know, sometimes you just got to laugh at life. Do it again. Do what? Oh, it smells like doo-doo in here, bro. It smells like doo-doo in here. It's, oh, it smells like your cigarettes. It smells like your cigarettes. Mom. Okay, baby. I love you. Bye. So you have to... When's my octopus coming? When's your octopus coming? Um, it'll be here in like... Oh, October 21st. For real? Yeah, for real. Wait, what day is it? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, my God, tomorrow. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, guys, if um, I didn't order a real octopus, I got a, a, a crocheted octopus plushie. Because oh, guys, I didn't order a real octopus, she said. It's a crochet octopus. Just, just so you know, it's not real. Here, you see my, this is my crochet cow. I'm going to start collecting these crochet. She likes these crochet cows. And she's going to learn how to crochet. Not all, like, it's not so just soft, the cows, like all of them. <laughs> it's so soft. They love it. It's cute. All right, baby, I love you. <laughs> okay. So... Right, and what what do you do when, when you like everything you try? What do you do when you like everything you try and do isn't good enough and I feel like a family burden? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, I would love to answer this for you because I heard, what do you do when you like, when, wait, what do you do when you, everything you try and do isn't good enough and you feel like a family burden? You recognize that you are a light worker and you are the healer of your family, also known AKA the black sheep of the family. And when you feel like you're a burden to the family, the reason why is because you really don't don't resonate with these people. And they, um, what is it called? They make you the scapegoat of the family. So whenever there's an issue, they make you feel bad about it. You know why? Because you're the only empath in the family willing to take on their issues. Nobody else there wants to recognize their problems. And because you see it and your energy projects their problems onto them, like you almost shine the light on where they need to work on, what they need to work on. So what they do is they blame it on you because you're the only one willing to get yelled at and take on all of the pain because as a healer and as an empath, as a light worker, as a star seed that you are, been placed into that family that makes you feel like shit, it's because... It's not, I'm not saying they're shit because you got to forgive everyone, but you were placed into that dark family for a reason because your energy and that space that you live in, that where you're from, who you are, when you're in that home, what they don't understand is that they're protected because of you. Without you, there would be no light and there would be no safety and there would be no protection because you are the angel amongst the demons. I'm sorry. You don't want, you want, you don't want to hear it. A lot of people don't want to hear that shit. You know, a lot of people don't want to hear that their family is the toxic ones and they'll point them out and, and blame you. But that's only because you're the quiet one. You're willing to take on their bullshit. But then when you start to say something to them, they're projecting their shit onto you. So you have to be strong and understand. You ain't the burden, sweetie. They are. 
Okay? Just because you live there so-called for free or whatever it is that you call that they're... Let me tell you something. Family needs to stop with all this bullshit. You turned 18. It's time for you to be on your own. Why the fuck you had me? Why you brought me here? Your responsibility is until the day I die, you got to be there for me. And that's that. You signed a contract with me, motherfucker. Unless that contract gets too heavy and this person, you can't take their shit no more, right? Somebody, sometimes, sometimes family's not real family. They just got the same blood. Speak on it. Speak on it. <laughs> speak on it say it louder for the people that think that they're a burden to their motherfucking family when their family's the burden to them the only difference is you always kept your mouth shut you was always the quiet like you know you let these motherfuckers run amok you know amok 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 you saw their toxicity from a mile away and then when you get around them you they they, some, they see something in them through you and then they blame you it's because there's demons are irritated by your spirit. You get me? When you get around certain people, why do they get angry and start attacking you? Why do they start talking to you like that? Why? Because you're a bad person? No, baby. They're, demons are irritated by your spirit. Don't forget, demons can see your spirit. And they see you walk in a motherfucker room. If I walk in a room right now, we got a bunch of evil ass motherfuckers with bad intentions. What do you think is going to happen? Do you see that? Did you hear, did, Albanians believe this, and this is a superstition that I used till today during the reading. What do you think is going to happen? All hell is going to break loose. Either they're running or I'm out of the door. One or the other. Either all the people with the negative energies are running that way, or I'm going to be like, we can't be here. It's too evil. You know what I mean? Not because I'm, I'm perfect and they're bad. It's not about who's good or who's bad. It's not about, about, about who's, who's good or who's bad. It's like the school of good and evil. You go there to train to be evil. I, go, I came here to train to be good, baby. Uh, we're, not, we're not the same. We are not the same. Everybody with a dark childhood, you chose them. You know that you choose your family for what they don't do for you, not for what they do. Do you understand <clears throat> what I'm saying by that? You choose your family for what they can't do for you. Not what they can. For what they can't. Because what they can't do for you, you learn to do for you. See what I'm saying? So if you get into a family and everything's perfect and peachy clean, clean, peachy clean, and you're, um, your mom and dad are rich and everybody's good and you're chilling, your whole life is set up and, you know, you fucking play football in college and your parents actually go to your games. You know what I mean? Like, what do you, what do you think's going to happen? And only until you separate from them will you be able to learn who the fuck you are. You understand that, right? That's why so many people, they, they're okay, they're okay. Look at me, so like I was, I was 17, 18. Yeah, no problems, everything was good. Peachy keen, peachy clean. Then I separated from the home and I, st Whoa. <laughs> that's when Spirit was like, all right, she's ready. She wanna go, she's gonna go venture out and now the fool's journey. You need to watch the fool's journey, okay? Watch the fool's journey, listen to the fool's journey. Where Dante's Inferno, where he steps into the gates of hell and he leaves the place of, of peace and then he steps up to the gates of hell and it says, all ye who enter here, abandon all hope. Meaning you're about to go through the darkness. So it's, you're going to lose hope, you're going to lose faith, you're gonna, you have to abandon everything you learned because you're about to relearn everything. You're going to walk through these gates of hell, go through the inferno. When you step out of the inferno... You'll know, am I dark? Am I light? You learn who you are. And it's okay if you choose the darkness, you know? Hey, more power to you. you I don't, I'm, I'm not with it, but no, more power to you. I'm not going to judge nobody for the darkness they chose. So you need to understand, do not let your family make you feel like you're stupid, you're crazy. And don't try to explain your spiritual experience to anybody because they're going to look at you, at you like you have 10 heads. Because when they're not on the spiritual path, they look at you like you're crazy because they're not spiritually aware. And so they're going to make you feel crazier. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? So what you got to do is <clears throat> not allow that shit to, to fuck with you. How do I move forward when I care so much how people see me with my family and, gr and growing up a fan, growing, growing and a growing fan base is so hard. <clears throat> how do I move forward when I care so much how people see me with family uh, and a growing fan base? I'm going to tell you how I wake up. So I was on Bad Girls Club. You know that, right? And when I started doing the spiritual shit, a lot of people stopped following me. A lot, and, but guess what? 
a whole bunch of brand new people started following me. People who wanted to be on the same journey as me. And guess what? You Do you ever fucking see besides once or twice in a fucking year somebody come in my live or in my comments with negative? Never. You know why? Because I eliminated those fake motherfuckers who were just following me because I gave them the drama. I'm not your monkey. I didn't come here to entertain you, honey. You understand me? Fuck those people. Fuck that fan base. Find a new one. Find a new one because I'm not about to fucking do what makes you happy and I'm going to sit here miserable. I'm going to make the kind of music I like. I'm going to do the kind of videos I like. And people that don't like me, they can just go away. <clears throat> and guess what? They're doing us a favor by going away. Bad Forks Club. <clears throat> you understand that? You don't know. Nobody knows it better than me, baby. If you look at the signs of the show that I was on, it has the devil horns. And the devil tail on a heart. Think about it. Nobody knows better than me. I'm going to tell you the game, baby. You want to be in the entertainment industry? You either do what the fuck the devil tells you to do. Or you do it your way. You might not get that many followers. You might not get that many people that like you. But you won't be dealing with that shit that I dealt with, which is pain and torture and harm and hurt and nobody actually liking you for you and them only being around you because you're famous and them only being around you because you're cool. Would you rather have that? Would you rather find the authenticity within yourself? I would rather have 20,000 loyal people buying my album than 3 million fake people. Let me repeat that to you. Because those 20,000 people will continue to buy my shit. Those million, other million, the second I fall off, guess what? They're falling off too. Do you understand me? Why do you think Rihanna is coming back to, <clears throat> to do a tour? Because once you become famous and you're so stuck with the fame, you can't live without it. It's, it feeds you. It's like a demon feeding you. You need to feed that demon and it needs that fame. I need to be famous. I need, and nobody pays attention to you anymore. No I went through that transition from going to being known by everybody, loved by everybody because I was on Bad Girls Club to like not at all. And I had to let go of that part of me. That flow is dead. She, I don't know who that bitch was. I did what I did. She was a gangster. I did what I did. It got me to where I was today. All roads lead to exactly where you are right now. So don't try to hold on to that shit. Okay? That's why I couldn't do it when I had my chance. Exactly. Listen. Fame is fickle, right? But when you when you get yourself some some loyal people in your life, like I said, I'll go on somebody's live, right? Somebody else who's like famous, and I'll see like three thousand, thirty thousand people in there, or fifteen, or thousand, six thousand people, or five thousand people, and all those comments are all shitty, right? You go on my live, yeah. There's always thirty three people, right? Whenever 50 or 60 get in here, how come that's when we got to deal with all the bullshit and all these fucking retards coming in talking about, ah, bah, 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 bah. because I don't care. <laughs> I'm not, like, told spirit, I'd rather have the loyal people that I fucks with. So when they come in here, they feel like they're in a safe space. Not like they come in here and they're about to be attacked for their problems. Because some people are evil. They don't give a fuck about your sadness. This is why I see you crying, crying. Crying and dying. Crying and dying. They don't give a fuck about you. Ain't nobody got time for that fucking shit, man. I don't give a flying fuck. I'm going to do my music again. And guess what? This time around when I do it, like I told Spirit, I don't care if I have, let's say I do a little show and I have 100 people in there. I'll be fucking dead happy because I'll be able to communicate with them, hang out with them. Hey, guys. Ha, ha, he, he. Laugh in between the songs. I'm like, my voice ain't that good, but my songs are good. Don't listen. Don't look at the messenger or listen to the voice. Listen to the words. You know, it's not even, it's not, I'm not here to be like, oh, that's not, I'm not here for that. I'm here to give you a message through my music. And those people that'll be sitting in the crowd, I could sound like shit. And they're going to still be like, go ahead, Flo, sing it, girl. I could be like, ah, and they'll be like, oh, okay, Flo, you want to run that one back? I am. <clears throat> ah, okay, better, 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 better. Great, great. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta go after your dreams no matter what. And don't let your fans or your followers or, you know, don't let these people affect you. I, it's, 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 you see what girls are doing just to keep followers, don't you? You see it, right? I could show my titties right now and I'll get a million followers. So I got some big ass titties. 
You know how many guys, oh my God, I would have a bunch of disgusting pigs watching me. No, thank you. I'm good. You keep that shit over there. That's why every time I post a video of my daughter, I delete that shit. Because there's some nasty motherfuckers on the internet. And I don't want you looking at me or my daughter. The couple of videos I post for me looking good with my titties, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, all these DMs. Hey, Flo, what's good? Looking good. Shut the fuck up, doofus. Like, I posted a thousand videos today of just me with my gray hair pulled back in a t-shirt looking like shit. You didn't say what's up then. All of a sudden, I show a video of my titties and you want to be my best friend? Listen, motherfucker, if you don't take your fucking corny ass the fuck out of here with your no dick skill having game, fuck out of here. I will fuck you next Sunday, bitch. The fuck out of my face. Make you come in one second when I'm sucking your dick. You ain't, you can't hold down like what what a real man can hold down. I'm 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 not for you. I'm for the real men. A real man can approach me. I don't really care if nobody likes me. It's quality over quantity, just like I told Kendra. <laughs> you know, you didn't say what's up then when I was looking all crazy. Cause look, I look crazy right now. But the thing about me is like. You know what Albanians believe this thing? There's this thing Albanians believe in, right? <laughs> and for real, there's this thing Albanians believe in. And during, before your wedding, like like three, four months before your wedding, they tell you don't do your makeup, don't do your hair, don't look nice. Because this way when you do your hair and makeup the day of your wedding, everybody's going to be like, because <gasps> they've seen you looking like shit the whole time. You walk around like, hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, hi, looking all crazy and shit. Then you come out wedding day you're like oh, and everybody's like oh you know because when you're constantly like if i see somebody constantly with their hair and makeup done dressed up nice when they get dressed up and we go out it's gonna be like oh well you look nice you know what i'm saying it's ugly you know what i'm saying right when somebody's constantly dressed up and it's like all right like you look nice all the time like can i see you scruffy sometimes so this way when you do dress nice i'm like damn baby you look good you know what I'm saying? Like, you look good. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, I just want to say, like, right now, like, Spirit's giving us the honesty, the loyalty, the freedom to be ourselves. We're being guided and directed to the, I'm hearing the the realness, the realness of our dreams, right? And so, Spirit wanted to get to know you really well as you get to know yourself here in this dimension. And you're working with your guides heavily at this time. Um, I'm seeing spirit animals as well for some of you. <clears throat> it's Nutley, New Jersey. <laughs> I'm seeing spirit animals for somebody. <clears throat> be my wifey. <laughs> you know, and I would love to be with a female. Because, like, it would just be easier. Like, women clean. And so, but there's men like that, too, though. But, you know. Like my daughter. She goes, Mom, why do you say you're bisexual? You're not bisexual. I said, what are you talking about? She goes, you told me you don't like, you don't like women because of... Because... They don't have boy parts. <laughs> That's why I explained this to her. Um, and she goes, so you're not really bisexual then? She goes, you, she goes, you just you just like someone for who they are. She's like, because a, a real bisexual would like anybody for everything they are. I was like, mm, okay, it makes sense. It made sense. But I am, you know? Our, my honesty is an inspiration. But <clears throat> how do you know your spirit animals? Ask to see them. So mine came to me in my dream. I was sitting outside in, in the yard in my dream. And this big, when I say she's, she was beautiful. And you know, it was a girl because she had those eyelashes, right? And she had these big wings. So she looked like half a phoenix, but like had an owl's face. But she was this magical owl. She was all these colors, fuchsia, pink, these light pinks. And I asked to see who's my spirit animal. And she came from the sky. Honestly, I thought she was attacking me because she was like flying. I was like, oh, shit. And then she came to my head and she rubbed me like this. Like, like you know how a dog rubs your head? I swear to God. And that was my spirit animal. And she was saying hi to me. And she was like, I'm always with you. And she told me that she comes to me as hawks. So when I'm driving and a hawk, like three or four hawks come, she's controlling those hawks to follow me. And they will. And one of the things I'm going to tell you, ask them. Ask your spirit guides to come in your dreams. It takes them two to three days to manifest into your dream state. So if you ask them now, it might happen two, three days. Sometimes it happens right away. It depends on the the circumstance. I like to write down what I want to see for my spirit guides. I just saw energy passing. And <clears throat> they'll come to you in your dreams. Also, <clears throat> and spirit animals, 
um, your at your bird animals. If you want spirit to guide you with the with birds, mm -hmm. okay. Butterflies could be a spirit guide. Um, <clears throat> dragonflies are a big one too. <clears throat> if you want to, uh, excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, if you want a bird to direct you, this is great. I love doing this. If I'm supposed to go somewhere. And I'm like, is this journey right for me? And if it's right for me, please have a bird fly to my right. Like, just pass me to the right or I'll see a bird just go to the right. If this is not right for me, have them go to my left. I'll wait a second or two and I swear to God, each time. It, it's something. It's either a bird or a butterfly. Something passes right by me. And it, it does. They do help you like that. You collect owls. Oh, that's cute. I love owls. They're cute. There's a, <clears throat> some sky people that look like owls. Um, actually, there's the, the part of the sky, the galaxy, it looks like two owls. You guys need to watch The Knowledge of Forever Time. You will not be disappointed. It's an eight-part series, and they, they show you up to seven parts. But if you have nothing to do tonight, The Knowledge of Forever Time. It's amazing. The guy died making this documentary. Literally, the, he, they murdered him in his sleep. He was making a documentary. He knew something was going on. He said, these men in black are definitely coming to my house. He like he he blew them up and told too many secrets. Too many secrets. And then um, he said, I swear to God, somebody's coming in my house at night and shooting me up with something that's making me sick. And nobody believed him. All his files kept getting deleted. He had to keep redoing it. And then he finally caught somebody on tape in his house. And they walk by and they go to his bedroom. You see him sleeping. They go to his bedroom. They shoot him up with something and they leave. Dressed in all black. The men in black, right? A shadow people, they call them. You know, shadow night work, work workers. Night workers, I said. And then he ended up dying from cancer. And he was a fucking healthy, completely healthy person. <clears throat> Thank you, Astro. I love you. You're the best. Thank you. Albine. Flo, have you talked to trees, then branches? Have you talked to trees, then branches move? Yes. And also this, another thing I did, summoning the chin. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why did I just read that? Yo, God, get retarded. <laughs> get retarded. Yo, let me tell you something about another thing that's great. Tell us one more time. The knowledge of forever time. Really good. Yeah, they give cancer or heart attacks. Those are that's one of the biggest ways to make you like you you or or overdose if you had a his history of addiction. That's a big one they like to use. Um uh what, what was I saying? So the knowledge of forever time and I was saying um Knowledge of forever time and oh the trees have you talked to <clears throat> trees <clears throat> I love you too one of the things that was funny <laughs> oh man some people are so easily manipulated by people but um one of the things that you could also try try this too okay if you're outside and it's raining lightly ask the rain to move to the right or to the left just do it just try it like. I was meditating one time and the rain kept coming towards my um towards my balcony. I've told this story before and I was like, can you just go back a little bit? And I was pushing that shit you not. I was like, uh, nobody's ever going to believe me when I say this. Summoning the chin. <laughs> Summoning the chin? <laughs> She's like, question mark? <laughs> That's not some magical spiritual shit. Because she's like summoning the chin. Can you please explain further? <laughs> yes, remember at the retreat we're talking to the trees? Exactly. Ex exactly. Exact. Actually and exactly. I come up with new words every day. I'm going to write in a dictionary because I like to mix words. Exactly. Actually and exactly. <laughs> you know, when spirit, spirit is funny because they're like, people will, because I'm like, they're not going to know. How will they know? How will they know? And spirits like, flow. people are watching you. You think they don't know? They can't tell when somebody's lying? People have been watching you. You've been talking about the same stories for years. For years, you're telling the same stories. There's no way. <laughs> Laugh my eyes if I get it now. <laughs> it's just like I see you writing that. Something the chin, question mark. <laughs> okay. No, but, um. Try that with the rain, right? The elements. Um, the queen of forces holding the sun and the moon up in your hands and asking them to... Ooh, I just saw the light spark. Did you see that? The queen of forces, I said. There's a lot of energy floating through this room. And I'm going to tell you that it's it's been serious. <laughs> it's been serious. I take a nap before, earlier. I was like, touch my hand. And he grabbed my... 
he I keep saying he so it must be a he he like picked my finger up and then held my two fingers here and I'm like like can I see what is in my third eye and then I see like these weird faces and I'm like uh creepy <laughs> you know <laughs> look mm, I don't know but I'm just gonna say real quick have some of you guys seen the ads to the new to the new thing you guys know what I'm talking about the new you know what I saw some of the ads I was like you know the uh I was like, oh my god, bro. Oh, it's so, it's tragic. It's tragic. It's really sad because a lot of these kids are going to be watching this and going, that's how I need to be. Just real, just real messy. Real fucking messy. It's like you, these young people are going to watch this shit. And I know because when I was on it, even though I did what I did, a lot of people would come up to me and be like, I know you think you were, you were bad on that show, but actually you taught me a lot on that show. Like, I became strong because of you. I'm like, really? And I, like, it's, oh, gonk. Gronk. Boy, I just can't. I just, my stomach turns when I watch it. It's it's just, it's, it's on another level. You know, and I don't want to talk about nothing because people have their goals and aspirations. But when you're asked, when you aspire to, de to destroy lives... I can't get with that program. I just can't do it. You know? Alright, guys. I gotta put my foot up. It's starting to swell up like a motherfucker. And get my daughter ready for school because she thinks she's like too damn grown. I'm just like, there are people with actual talent. We don't get half the visibility. You know what? And we don't. And you're right. Views? <clears throat> Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. A long time ago. Let me just tell you guys a story real quick, quick. Long time ago, when when BGC was airing, this is a long time ago. I had an idea to do a show, and I wanted to call it "Bad Girl Boot Camp with Flo." That was the idea of the show. I went to um, I went to Buena Murray, which was the network that was creating um, Bad Girls Club, and I went up to Buena Murray and I said, "I want to have like a little meeting with you. Can I have a meeting with you?" My left ear is burning. I'm gonna. I, if somebody tries to steal the idea, you're all gonna know this was Flo's idea, and I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna sue the shit out of this bitch. I'm just kidding. And I said I wanted to have a show and call it Bad Girl Boot Camp with Flo. And she, I went to go see the the producer. I had a whole meeting with them in Manhattan in the, in the village, and um, in their production studio. And I told them I said I want to do a show like with me rehabilitating bad girls. Like I want to take them in. I'm still trying to do that today. I'm still gonna do that today, one day. I'm gonna take these bad girls in there, whatever, and I'm I'm gonna they're gonna think they're there to party and hang out, but when they come, they find out that they're there to re rehabilitate. And I I work with them on you know healing traumas and stuff. And I said like you know we'll have like a therapist, this and that. But today I would do it differently. I would work with them one on one. I'd have other healers and you know uh, Reiki masters and stuff like that, something like that, different, you know. And um. They told me, no, we can't do that because um, if we do that, then we just might as well just throw Bad Girls Club in the garbage because people will not watch Bad Girls Club anymore if you have this show. I said, why wouldn't they watch it? Flo, you know what we're about. Like, how does that make sense? You know, you want to do something good when this is all about being bad. Mm, it just doesn't go together. And I'm like, mm. that's because they don't want shows where people heal. Okay. They're not trying to do shit where people heal. When they asked me to be on um, uh, Marriage Boot Camp, damn, that light is flashing. When they asked me to be on Marriage Boot Camp, what did they say? Uh, we want you to be on Marriage Boot Camp. I said, no, I'm not dating nobody. Oh, just pretend. Grab somebody and pretend. You're going to make a lot of money. Why would you say no to this? You know, people will love to see you on it. I said, listen, I can't. I'm, I'm not coming on there with a fake partner and pretending about a whole fake ass relationship because people are not stupid and they see through it and I don't want to be known as that person who will do anything for money. And I didn't do it. My mom was like, I'm proud of you. I was like, me too, because that's a lot of money I said no to, <laughs> you know? But fuck it, because I said, spirit will give back to me later on. When it's, when it's due for me, it will happen. Plus at that time, I was just getting clean and doing the right thing for my life. And I knew if I went into a house where everybody was drinking and acting a fool, that it could have... You know, I was risking my 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 sobriety, so I it was more important to me than making a hundred thousand dollars. I know it sounds like a lot of money, and you're like, damn, I would have done it. Yeah, but guess what? I had been like two years clean if I would have went there and been around people who were drinking, smoking on this on this um on um the most recent one. They the two the couple got caught with cocaine and on them. Think about it. Don't don't think people don't sneak drugs. 
Didn't they have fucking heroin on this other show? Like, come on. And I'm not the type of person, I'm here, I'm partying, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, and I'm not risking my whole life, even if it's money, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> can you, I can't stop, like, why? Like, you're serious, and then you read that, heal the chest. <laughs> you know, you gotta, you, it's like, you gotta choose what's more important to you, the money, or, like, your sobriety, your health, your well-being. Um, I was like, I gotta make, my family, my friend, the people that follow me loyally, proud, and show them because I know for a fact there's a reason why I went on the show and I'm I'm going through this stuff because I know that there's a lot of people who watch me and like me and they're going through the same thing and I have to show them that I did it and you can do it too. I think that looks so cool, a little gray hair like that. So I know that spirit chose me for this lesson for a reason. <laughs> the money. <laughs> can you guys stop making me snore like a pig? <laughs> spiritual spiritual boot camp we need to find you a connection you know rabbit and i got a few people i have approached some people with it they don't want positive shit on tv like i tried the we network and all that they just you know they're busy doing love after lockup which i love that show by the way it's the only toxic shit i allow into my life for real i love that show i don't know why i just love seeing it especially because like i have a sister who dated a guy in, in jail and, and married him so i kind of like understand it but I get invested in the storyline there, so they sell their soul to the devil. Yeah, I'm com I communicate with a couple of the cast members from Love After Lockup, and let me tell you, they always ask me, like, well, and I'm like, I tell them, I'm like, they don't give a fuck about you. I don't want to say so much, because cause I also hit up Love After, After Lockup, you know what I told them? I was like, yo, you should let me host a reunion. <laughs> let me host a reunion to Love After Lockup. I swear to God, I will kill that shit. <laughs> like, I'll kill. I'm like, yeah, but Britney. I'll probably end up giving people readings and shit. Naked and afraid. I wanted to go on that. My mom was like, you could, you would have done good on that show. Because she she saw me fast for like seven, eight days with no food. And just drinking water. I know I could classy for it, but I could, maybe I could help a couple of people, you know? Because I'd be good at that. I'm like a good talk show host, you know? I'm like a good fucking talk show host. Like, you know? I'm seeing, I'm looking at Drew Barrymore and shit. I'm like, get the... Kelly Clarkson, like, Why? This is what they put on TV. This is what they want on TV. And they got it. If someone like me tries to go on that shit real like that, they can't have that. But I could like play white girl for you if you want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I could be like, oh my God, really? You want to learn how to make like pumpkin pie cake? I don't the fuck. Nah, bitch, we're going to learn how to heal your shit. You're fucked up in that. You keep dating these toxic-ass motherfuckers, and now you don't understand why you're all alone at home crying with four kids. Nobody's paying you right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's got to be. We got to have some real shit out here. We, all we have is phony shit, man. Everything you watch is phony, phony, phony. And I know. See, like, I watch Love After Lockdown, but I know half of it's not, like, set up and all. But I don't care because I like it because it's my entertainment. But if I'm watching something because I love it and I really am invested in the characters and I know and then I find out it's fake, hmm, that's like watching um, The Serpent Queen and then finding out half of the life story is not even real. You're like, oh, this is some black ass shit, you know? Word, Florina. Hello, Valley Girl. Like, oh my God. Really, Jennifer? No, he did it. He slept with a babysitter? Why? Oh my God, that is so... Ghetto. So ghetto. So. Oh, ghetto. You know, girl. Girl? You saw the SNL thing with Megan Thee Stallion? Girl. Girl. I was like, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Shit like that. Girl. You know? Nah, did you hear about the psychic cab driver show? Shut the fuck up. What? I'm going to see that. Look into that now. Bring back the Jerry Springer show with Flo as a host. What? Jerry Springer, Spring. Jerry, Jerry. Flo be like, just just put cocoa oil in your nose. <laughs> Yo, do you, you know what? You're doing too much. Just put coconut oil in your nose. You be all right. <laughs> For real, right? That, that's good. You and Rocky are both. You and Rocky are both spiritual. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't see any of the other girls as pages only because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no. I just, you know, I'm I'm focused on, on what I'm doing here with, with what I'm doing, you know, so I don't look at other people. Yeah, like Steve Volk goes, oh man, but if I found out somebody was like molesting a kid, 
I'll be the talk show ho to beat the shit out of somebody. Honestly, I'll be like, you did what, motherfucker? It's like, they be like, Flo, you're the host. I'll be like, I don't give a fuck. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would fight somebody for that. You know that. That's not. But people would love me even more for that. They'd be like, Flo, 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 Flo. Like, Yo, I love her. Yo, she beat that bitch's ass when she found out she touched that little boy's pee-pee. Ooh, my shit up. You know what I'm saying? It's horrible. <laughs> with all the information with the guy who died. Wow. Wow. All right, guys, I love you. I'm going to go put my foot up because it's really starting to swell up now. It's, re oh, it's, 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 it's excessively swollen right now. I love you guys. I think you'll be good, cool on her podcast. You know who I hit up from, for the podcast? I, I wrote her um, a message, Teresa. I was like, I think I would be great on your podcast. You should have me on as a guest. I'll be hitting up random people here and there. I hit up a few people, love after lockup people. I just do it just to see what would happen, like, you know, spirit be like, just write to them, write to them, and I'll do it. And I'll just try it out. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Where a spirit will lead me. All right, I love you guys. You should go heal in Kensington, Philly. Why do you say that? I just heard something about Kensington, about Philly, Philadelphia, and Pennsylvania. That's crazy. Philly's eight hours from me, bro. Yeah. I want to do ayahuasca, though. I really want to do ayahuasca. Thank you, guys. I love you. Love and light to you guys. I will see you guys later, okay? Get some rest. Um, my eyes are going Google Gago right now. As you can see, I'm starting to get... You know that stare you get when you're tired? Like, oh, okay. Okay, good night. I love you guys. I'll see you later. See you guys later. It's fucking stuffy. I feel like... If you go... Okay, so if you go like that, and you're always constantly stuffed on one nose, and then you go... Right? So go like this. I go like that. If you're always, well, right now I'm stuffy, but if you're always stuffy on one side and you go like this, you might have a, um, what is that called? Uh, deviated septum. So try that out. Do that. If you have a one side that's stuffy, it's like when then when you sleep, that you know what works good? Those, um, when you go like this, first of all, you open up your nostrils because your nostrils are closed right here, right? These two spots right here. And if you use that um, Breathe Right strip, they're really good. Yeah. But, um, like, this side always hurt. This side always feels like I gotta go like this to it. <laughs> See? <sighs> feels better. Peppermint. Put some coconut oil up your nose. <laughs> no, but peppermint oil also, too, a little bit. And then um, steaming eucalyptus and peppermint oil. And then put it in a pot. Not too much, because then it'll hurt. You're like, <gasps> but just like a couple of drops. You Then you put a towel and you breathe that shit in. You'll be chilling. I definitely do from being a, from being headbutt. Yeah, from fighting and all that. From doing so much coke. <laughs> I saw this movie one time. Okay, it's not funny, but it is. This guy, was, he did so much coke in his lifetime. He had no nose at all. Like, all his cartilage was gone, but he was still... Like, he had none. In the movie, it was like one of those gangster movies. He had no nose. Like, his nose was showing up here, the skeleton. But he was still sniffing coke up the skeleton. <laughs> I was like, yo, he's my man's is committed. He ain't quitting that shit. It's like, yo, dude, um, you gonna quit now? You have a deviated system? Nah. You gonna quit now? Lost half of your nostril? Nah. You gonna quit now? Lost all of his nose? Nope. He still went on. And then, bro, that's if that ain't if that ain't determined, I don't know what else is. You imagine all those demons in hell? They just got no noses, just the bone, and they're all sniffing coke up the bone. They put in the straw. They have no nose here, and they just. <laughs> that's what hell looks like. You walking in there, <laughs> they got straws. <laughs> That would be wild. <laughs> Bitches are twerking. <laughs> they only got bones for asses. And they're just like twerking. <laughs> they're trying to twerk and the guys are like, yeah, shake those bones, girl. <laughs> uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm retarded. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> shake your bones. But watch yourself. Shake your bones. <laughs> Show me what you're working with. Shake that chest, girl. <laughs> shake that bone chest. Okay. Love you guys. Good night. See you later. <laughs> you cut me deep. <laughs> I guess it's funny. I just, you know, I like to make jokes out of things so that I don't ever get scared of nothing. <laughs> Bye, guys. I love you. I'll see you guys later. Unhinged. Is that the movie? 
why they put coke on their teeth? Why do, why do people put coke on their teeth? To numb their mouth so they could taste, so they don't like... Let me not give coke lessons here, but it's to numb their mouth so they don't taste it. But a lot of them like the taste of it. I don't know. Ugh. I don't know. I never even liked that shit, but it feels good. <laughs> but not anymore. But not anymore. No, you no, used to. Okay, and now it's all fake. It's all baby powder today anyway. Don't even touch cocaine or molly because it's crack. Like, I'm sorry, no drugs are real anymore. So if you're doing them, good luck finding the real shit because you ain't going to find it unless you go straight to Mexico or Cancun or something. I don't know. I meant you and the skeletons. <laughs> okay. I love you guys. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. I love you. Bye, bye.